Howdy everyone, Mr. Kaza here with another chemistry lesson and today's lesson is going to be on metric conversions. Now you should already know the metric system and what's involved. Now we're going to talk about how to convert from one measurement to another. Okay? In this lesson you're going to learn metric conversions, grams to kilograms, liters and milliliters and meters and centimeters and much, much more. All right, you must know the metric system. You must know the prefixes. You must know the powers of 10 and the decimal point. And I'm hoping that by this time you all uh, definitely know where the decimal point is, that you know your powers of 10. And that's basically your place values so that you know where the ones, tens, hundreds, uh, tenths, hundreds, and thousands are. And let's talk about metric conversions. Changing from one value to another in metrics is easy. Just move the decimal point left or right. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's really simple, Mr. Kazi. I think you've probably got a screw loose. But no, it's just that easy. Focus on the decimal point, and then you have to just make a decision on whether it goes left or right. And I know that involves a little bit of the T word, thinking. But nonetheless, it's still uh, pretty easy. And you might now ask, well, which way or how many places do I go? And that's where the thinking comes in. It all depends on the prefix. So uh, let's talk about how we move the decimal. If the prefixes go from a large to small, you're going to multiply, which means then move the decimal to the right. And if your prefixes go from small to large, then you're going to divide and move the decimal to the left. Now you might be asking yourself, what do I mean by this? And what I mean by large to small is that kilograms is bigger than milligrams. Kilo is bigger than grams. Uh, kilo is bigger than milli. You look at what unit is bigger. And if you're going from large to small, you multiply. And that means move to the right. And if you're going from small to large, that's dividing. And that means you're going to move that decimal to the left. And since this is all powers of 10, all we have to do is move the decimal point. Now, how many times? Well, that is determined by the zeros in the conversions. Kilo means 1,000, and it has three zeros, so I'm going to move three times. Let's do an example. So remember, we're going to do several examples here. Notice what's going on and notice how we move the decimal point. 15 liters equals how many milliliters? Well, first we ask ourselves, it's large to small. Therefore, we're going to multiply. Milli has what? One uh, is one one thousand, so it has three zeros. And note, we move the decimal point three times to the right. All right. Let's look at another one. 5.0 grams equals how many kilograms? Now we're going to ask ourselves, large to small or small to large? And of course, this is small to large, which means we're going to divide. Kilo has three zeros in it. So notice that we're going to move it three times to the left. Twenty-four point five centimeters equals how many meters? Again, it's small to large. We're going to divide, and centi has two zeros in it, so we're going to move two times. And we're moving to the left, and voila. Nine point three five kilograms is how many milligrams? This time we're going large to small, which means multiply, and Kilo has three zeros, but milli has three zeros also. Where are their place values? So let's look at our chart here. Notice kilo is six places away. It's three places from the base and then another three uh, to milli. So we're going to move the decimal point six times to the right. Now, if you don't get that, go back and look at it again. Stop the recording. Uh, we have the technology and watch it again. Very important that you get the idea of where these place values are. 13 centimeters equals how many millimeters? 
It's large and small, so I know I'm going to multiply and I'm going to move to the right. How many times? Well, milli and centi are only one place value apart or one zero. So if you look at our chart here, I'm going to move it one time. And I'm going to move it to the right. Cool. Remember, large and small move to the right. Small to large move to the left. All about moving the decimal. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget to check out my uh, website at mrkazi.com for PowerPoint videos and much, much more. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's lots and lots of information there. And it is said that it increases your IQ. All right, and don't forget now, if you have a question for the problem of the week, send it off to me. And I'll try and answer. Happy eyes, everyone.